Hello again, everyone. Welcome to INTV's coverage of Wauseon High School Football 2007. I'm Steve Haas. I'll be doing the play-by-play -play along with my good friend Mark Ellenwood doing the color commentary. This is INTV's 12th year of covering Wauseon sports, and, this, and we're proud to bring you tonight's game with the visiting Archibald Blue Streaks here at Harmon Field. Wauseon comes in 5-3 and three after a league road win last year over last week over Evergreen. The Indians are riding a three-game winning streak and hope to continue that success tonight. Archibald comes in 6-2 and two and are trying to rebound after a 28-49 league loss last week to Patrick Henry. Both these teams are looking for a piece of the league title with Patrick Henry already in the barn with no league losses. Mark, tonight it's going to be Wauseon's ground-oriented attack versus Archibald's pass-happy spread offense. What do the Indians need to do to stop Gene Gehring and company tonight? They need to play a lot of defense, Steve. Just like you said, it's going to be pass-happy, and it's going to be run-oriented for the Indians. It's 53rd meeting between these longtime rivals, and both teams' strength go right at the other team's weakness. Wauseon's run offense against Archibald's defense was, was kind of a question mark coming into the season for Coach Downey. Um, and that, that running attack has about 2,100 yards so far this season with between the three backs. Archibald's passing attack, that spread that's caused trouble for the Indians all year long. So uh, we're going to see probably a pretty close game, I'm guessing. But uh, with, the, with the strengths playing and the weaknesses, it's going to be Wauseon's run. It's going to be Archibald pass. We're going to see if that defense can stop it. Um, Wauseon's got to stop them on third and long. When they get in those situations, it could come down to turnovers in a kicking game. So here we go. Okay. Let's get this rivalry going. Okay, Clay Simpkins has it teed up for the Indians. Back deep to receive for the Blue Streaks are Jack Downey, number eight, number nine, Jacob Field, Fiddler, and number 33, Jimmy Dunning. <laughs> And this is a long, heated rivalry between these two teams about 12, 10, 12 miles apart. And Simpkins gets his foot into it. He's got the wind to his back. It's going to be taken by Dunning. Taking it straight up the middle. Has a crease and gets it out to around the 35-yard line on the blue streaks. 30. 36 yard line we'll call it and they'll have it first and 10 from there. Nice return for the blue streaks man picked it up on his nine yard line and brought it right out. Wind could be a factor tonight Archibald uh, working into the wind here in the first quarter. Indians won the toss elected uh, to defer to the second half. Archibald says okay we'll take the ball and Indians chose to defend the west goal but a strong win about 15 to 20 mile an hour wind. It's going to be blowing right in Gehring's face. Well, I got a feeling Gene's going to have to do some passing tonight because I don't. I think his ankle's a little gimpy this week. Okay, Gehring lines up in the shotgun. Light pressure put on by the Indians. Almost oh. intercepted by Marks. Had his hands on the ball at about the 48 yard line, and the Indians uh, just couldn't hang on. Nice D by the Indians. So Indians got to find a way to get pressure on Gehring. Gehring comes into the game a little bit gimpy. He might, might not be as apt to run as he has been all season. Got, he, get, uh, he got pretty beat up in the last two weeks against Delton PH. They'll line up almost exclusively in the shotgun. David Dominic in the backfield with Gehring. Gehring back to his throw, looking left. He's going to pull it down and run. And he's going to be brought down from behind by Emmons. Andy Emmons on the tackle. But give Gehring a, give Gehring about a five yard, four yard carry. Brings up third and six. Good to see number 85 back in the lineup for the yeah. Indians. Yes, uh, Elliot Meaner has been out with an ankle injury. And uh, we've been told he's probably only going to, he's probably not going to play offense tonight, but uh, we'll play defense. Indians with uh, 11 men within five yards of line of scrimmage. Gary, quick pop pass 
out to Dunning, and he's going to be hit and dropped after a short gain. Give him about three, two or three on the carry. That'll bring up fourth down, so decision time for Coach John Downey. He's in his 29th year at the helm of Archibald. His overall record is uh, 212 wins against 94 losses, so a very successful coach. About fourth down and two for the Blue Streaks, and they're going to send in the punt team. Coach Downey's going to play a little ball control here and send it into the Indians. Jacob Fielder, the punter for the Blue Streaks, back deep for the Indians is Ryan Huner and Colin Hughes. Low snap fielded by Fiddler. It's going to be going to be let go by Huner and Archibald will down it at the Wasion 21-yard line. Indians will set up shop there, have it first and ten. 10.08 to go here in the first quarter. No score. Well, that first series of the Indian defense didn't look too bad. They showed a little something we haven't seen all year. They spread it out a little bit and uh, looked like uh, maybe they can gonna be able to play with that spread offensive of Archibald. Well, they do have Mueller out on the field, the Indians. He's out there on at tight end. So maybe he's going to go both ways all the game tonight. We'll see. Must... Uh, have that ankle repaired. No, nice Huner had run. one man to beat. Nice run on first down by Mitch Huner. Well, that's not a first down, it's a second and short. Second and short, it's a coach's favorite play call right here. Huner gets it out over the 31 yard line. So second and short for Wasion. And Indians line up in the shotgun. A direct snap goes to Ryan Huner. I think that was Ryan. I think he got enough for the first, yep. And that'll move the chains. So a new wrinkle, uh, we've yet to see that play, I think, this year. On the replay machine tonight, while we got a minute, uh, I want to thank uh, Mike Christman for handling those duties tonight on the camera tonight. Paul McDonald, as always, Paul doing a great job. Shotgun, low snap this time. Uh, Hughes picks it up, has the corner, cuts it back inside, and he's out. Got the first. Out near the first down, gets uh, first down yardage and more. Looks like the Indians are came ready to play on both sides of the ball tonight, Steve. Another, another uh, new play we hadn't seen, but... Uh, Kind of took that inside, brought it back to the outside when it closed up. We heard coming in that Coach Emmons had put in a, a few uh, few different uh, offensive uh, formations and, and plays for tonight's game. Huner up the middle, bounces off a tackle, gets ahead for maybe two, three yards on the carry on first down. Well, if you're going to put a new wrinkle in, now's the time. Use it against Archibald because if you no tomorrow in the league race unless you can take care of business tonight and then show it to have Patrick Henry wondering about it. PH, they've been playing just a little bit scared all year. They've got a, a target on their back. Everybody's gunning for them with uh, six league titles in a row now. They've, they've clinched a uh, league title. Uh, one of these teams here tonight could tie. And Ryan Huner, the ball carrier, and he does well just maybe to get back to the line of scrimmage. Nice penetration by number 75 for the Blue Streaks. Give him no gain on the, on the carry. Uh, brings up third and seven for Wasion. Ball on the Wasion 48. So passing down here, passing situation. We need to convert these tonight. Schrock lines up in the shotgun. It's going to be a give to Marks. Cuts it back inside. Has yes, a first down and a little bit more. Indians come in tonight fired up for this one. Boy, Marks is running hard on that one. So Indians move the chains, get a fresh set of downs. 7.38 to go in the first quarter. No score. Marks carries it into Blue Streak territory. Ball on the Blue Streak. 49-yard line. Or 40, check that, 44-yard line. 
And Mitch Huner, the ball carry, gets ahead for a tough two yards, brings up second and eight. Price brings in the play from the sideline. Initially they had it up to 41 and a half, now it's back to the 42. We'll give them three. That's our guy, we'll give them Last week Price had a, caught a touchdown pass. Give goes up the middle, Mitch Huner, and again, only one or two men to beat there. Uh, he's getting into that Blue Streak secondary. And the offensive line on that right side is really doing the job. We're gonna check it out on the replay here and the nice big hole there. Nice trap play. Again, we got Mike Chrisman running the replay machine tonight. And they're gonna Bring the chains out, close to a first down. We'll wait and see. Indians eating up some clock here too. That's what they need to That's do tonight. That's what they need to do tonight. You said it before the game. They need to have a ball control offense and uh, get Archibald into a few of those three and outs. Third and inches for Wasion. Early yet, but I tell you what, Wasion's playing like we saw him play against Napoleon. <laughs> Well, we were and watching. How they started out against Liberty Center, and they, they're playing with some passion, like they're on a mission and ready to go tonight. Okay, Marks and Roop split out wide to the right. Give goes up the middle, and Mitch Huner has a first down easily and more. Takes a, a linebacker with him. Let's head for about seven yards on the carry. So 6.40 to go here in the first quarter, no score. Each team has had the ball once. Oh, we've had it longer. And where'd this drive start, Mark, for the Indians? Back on their 22 yard line. Okay, nice drive going here for the Indians. Schrock under center. And give goes to nice Colin ball. Hughes, steps over a tackler and gets that for a nice gain. You know, these Wasion backs kind of starting to like the idea that uh, they're getting all these big yardages week after week. They're getting used to it. I think they're planning on doing it again tonight. They're wanting to get those 100, their 100 yards, you know. Uh, how many teams can, can say that they've had uh, three backs gain 100 yards in the game? And I think the Indians have, have done that a couple times this year two and we thought maybe possibly three. Give Hughes uh, eight on the carry. And Mitch Huner up the middle, breaks it, and he gets it inside the 10. The first nine. down, they'll move the chains. Just what the doctor ordered for the Indians here, a long sustained drive. Uh, Got to cap it off with some points now. Yards get a little bit tougher as you get in that red zone. Yep, it's, but it's been really impressive the way the Indians have handled this drive so far. But you, like you said, you got to come away with the points. Okay, Schrock hands it off to Mitch Huner, gets ahead for uh, maybe a yard or two. And it'll be second and goal from, we'll call it the eight. Marks lines up in the wing, Huner and Hughes in the back. He's got the corner. And Colin Hughes has the corner and he's gonna waltz into the end zone for the score. Indians take the lead six to nothing with 449 to go here in the first quarter. Nice sustained drive by the Indians. I'm telling you, Steve, I'm looking down at what I've got written down here. I think there was all one third down in that drive. We were first down, second down, first down. Just one third down in that entire drive. How about that? That's just what the Indians need to do all they, night long. Okay, Simpkins uh, with the extra point kick. It's high enough, it's up, and it's good. Indians take a seven to nothing lead. 4.49 to go. 
Nice drive. And while we got a second, uh, we'll thank our sponsors, the people that make this uh, broadcast possible. Wasion Machine and Manufacturing, thank you. St. Casper's Catholic Church in Wasion. Perfumes and more. Wood trucking. The Delta Fraternal Order of Eagles. Thanks to those folks in Delta for uh, allowing Wasion people to see their team. Wasion American Legion Post 265. Wasion Athletic Boosters. And Wasion Homecoming Committee. And we'll get to the rest at our next break. Well, we'll see if Wasion can uh, muster up the D again. Well, this is a little bit of deja vu of last year. Indians scored first last year on a 51-yard run by Dana Demeline. Uh, took the early lead over at Archibald and uh, had the extra point kick uh, blocked. So it was six to nothing. And after that, it was uh, pretty much all Archibald, uh, just mostly due to Wasion turnovers. And uh, Gene Gehring threw, yeah, Gene, <laughs> threw quite a few balls. Gene had a great game last year. And not to say he won't have another one tonight. But uh, I got to say, that was probably the nicest drive we've seen the entire season so far. Okay, Downey, Fiddler, and Dunning back. And it's going to be taken by Dunning at the 10. Eludes a tackler and gets it out to the Archibald 30 or 29-yard line. Nice coverage by the Indians. Almost 10 yards less than they had on the last, on the opening kickoff on this, the return. This is a very good Archibald team. They come in six and two, five and one in the league. Their lone uh, league loss came last week to Patrick Henry. They uh, went down to the Patriots 49 to 28. Gearing in the shotgun. I believe Dominic in the backfield, and Dominic's going to get the. Now I'll check that. That's uh, Fiddler gets the carry, and he's going to be driven out of bounds after about a three-yard gain. Kind of a fake on the end around, and then uh, handed it off to the short man in the backfield, and he didn't get anywhere. That Indian defense, run defense, was there. So that makes it second and seven for the Blue Streaks. They'll run all different kinds of people out of the backfield, and he's got a host of, host of receivers to throw to. We'll try and keep up with that tonight. Four wide outs here, and they go short to Dunning. Uh, he made the reception and fumbled the ball. I'm not sure, no signal yet. They're gonna call it a reception and fumble, and Archibald will retain possession. He is questionable. Yes, well, he was trying to put it away. It's questionable, but uh, they're going to give him a, a catch and a recovery on that. One of those opportunities for the Indians on a, for turnover. That would have really helped. Okay, Dunning and Fiddler split out wide to the right. Downey out to the left. He puts Fiddler in motion. And he's looking to Fiddler and throws it uh, behind him. It's a forward pass. So just an incompletion, and uh, that'll bring up fourth down for the streaks. Fourth and three to go. Ball on the blue streak, 37. So they'll bring out the punt team once again. Indians with a lead here, 7-0 to zero with 3.16 to go here in the first quarter. Just hope that D can sustain this kind of action all night. Fiddler to punt. And they even run the spread on the punt with their, this formation. Indians get a rush up the middle. That's Mueller. And they're going to stay away from the kick. They'll come out of there with pretty good field position at, with the ball on about the uh, Wasion 36. Say Wasion 37. So good field position for the Indians to start their second drive. They lead here seven to nothing. 308 left in those first, and if we can eat up that and another say six in the second, put another seven on the board. I'd be feeling pretty good about it. Hey, Schrock under center. 
Give goes to Ryan Huner, has some running room, gets ahead for positive yardage on first down. We'll give him about uh, three on the carry, bring up second and seven for Wasion. I think some of these seniors might still have that taste of that lost Archibald last year. I believe and so. They kind of like to get it back. Well, it was a young team last year. And they made some uh, youthful mistakes in that one. Okay, handoff goes to Oh Ryan yeah, Huner. He's got the one corner. Man. One man to beat, and he's going to be pulled out of bounds, taken down inside the 30-yard line. Call it the 29. So Huner had the corner, bounced it outside. Nice seal block there by Emmons out on, Boy, that's on that end. Andy Emmons made a nice block to seal things off to give him the corner. That's twice tonight Collins gone off tackle and see it close up on him only to pop it outside and for a great yardage. Well, so far Indians doing what they have to here tonight. Schrock's gonna hand it off on a counter to Mitch Huner. And give him four or five on the carry. We'll call it five, bring up second and five. So Blue Streaks in the early going here, unable to find an answer to this Indians running game. Well, nobody's found much of an answer for it this year so far. So far, it's been two three and outs for the Blue Streaks. Indians have uh, just been running the ball at will up the middle. Mitch Schooner, the ball carrier, gets ahead for a couple tough yards. We'll give him, give him two on the carry, brings up third and three. Indian offense has only got better all year with this running attack. Well, they got to be a tough team to prepare for because you've got you've got four, four or five guys can carry the ball fairly well. Hey, Schrock under center, and they're going to pound it up the middle. No, fumble. We got a fumble on the play, and Archibald is going to come out of there with it. it. Just didn't get a clean handoff. So big break. Big break for Big the break Blue for Streaks. Archibald. Looked like Indians were moving in to, for another score. And they cough it up here. Let's try and see what happened. Uh, Hughes just never really got the handoff. Never really got the handle on the ball. Well, let's see if the Indians D can uh, have another three and out here. So far, they look pretty good tonight. Well, Archibald lost the turnover battle to PH last week, and Patriots put him on him pretty good. And Oh, a little and slip there. I believe that was at Dunning or Fiddler. That's Fiddler. A Fiddler, the ball carrier, and not much running room there. Might have lost a, a foot on the carry. Brings up second and 11. Seven to nothing, Indians with a lead. 48 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Archibald working into the wind. They split out two to the right, two to the left. Gearing in the shotgun. And Indians come with a blitz. And catch is going to be made out there by Jimmy Dunning, but uh, just for a short gain. So well, got, a little, got a little pressure there on Gene and, and had to go to the short receiver, and the Indians got that covered. Good defense call, defensive call there by the Indians. Huner came blitzing from his uh, uh, outside linebacker position, and here's a heads-up call by Coach Emmons. He wants Archibald uh, to possibly punt into the wind. He uses a timeout here with 21.8 seconds to go in the first. Third and seven for the Blue Streaks. Good so we'll, I'm sure we'll see another uh, timeout here should the Indians uh, stop them on downs. Could be the third consecutive four and out. You know, three and out for the, for the Blue Streaks. Indian defense forcing those punts. So far, it's been all Indians in here in the early going. Two, three and outs for the blue streaks. Looking at a potential third here. Indians just stopping themselves on a fumble. Good job. 
I don't see Coach Downey going for a fake right now, but who knows? Well, it's third down. We're not punting yet, so maybe next down. Indians got to stop him pressure. here, bring up fourth down. Fiddler goes in motion. Garing's going to pull middle. it down and get up the middle. Not the first. Has enough for the first down. He ran that a lot on us last year. We didn't expect to see him running a whole lot tonight. He did get a little bit banged up in the last couple weeks. Hughes with a tackle. So that's going to be the end of the first quarter. And we'll see how Archibald can do with the wind to their back. Just a very stiff wind blowing out of the south, southwest tonight. Wind blowing 15 to 20 miles an hour. Okay, the rest of our sponsors that help us uh, do this, Trinity Lutheran Church. The city of Wauseon. Winchester's Restaurant and Saloon in Delta. Don's Automotive Group. Lee's Body Shop. Bill's Sports Center. Hallett, Hallett, Noggle, Attorneys at Law. The Sterling, Sterling Mechanical, Licensed Limited Contractor Heating, AC and Plumbing. And Whalen Realty and Auction here in Wauseon, Mike Murray. Thank you all so very much, you make this happen. Patronize those folks. Now if you go in their shop, tell them thank you for doing this. Okay, other games around the league tonight. We got PH, or Sydney Lehman is at Patrick Henry. Sydney got him last year. Yep, Swanton at Bryan. Delta at Liberty Center, that's another good game tonight. Evergreen at Montpelier, that's a toss up. And that's it for around the league. Is it? Uh, and a good one here. So far, so good. Okay, Archibald has it first and ten to start the second quarter. Indians with uh, 11 men within three yards of the line of scrimmage. Pass is thrown out there and caught for an eight-yard gain. Gearing to Fiddler. Looks like Gene's getting comfortable back in there with the Indians rush. We were watching last year's game and uh, he threw a, geez, probably 70% of his passes were just like that one, just thrown out across the field towards the sideline. But Indians are in a little bit different defense this year. Just a little more man-to-man -man playing a little closer, not giving them quite as much cushion. Second and two. Gehring in the shotgun, has plenty of time. He's gonna th load it up, throw it deep, and it's gonna be thrown out of bounds. Fiddler, the intended receiver. Hasso on the defense for the Indians. Nice looking throw by Gene. A little long though. Okay, brings up third and two for the blue streaks. Ball on the blue streak. 44 yard Here's line. That's what we talked about. Third down, you gotta stop them on thirds, Indians. Okay, Indians with three down linemen front now. Daring, just a quick throw out. To the left sideline, it's going to be incomplete. Uh, he likes Fiddler a lot. That's about uh, his fourth toss to Fiddler tonight. He's going to bring up fourth down. Let's see if uh, Coach Downey wants to go for it here. Ball on the 44-yard line. And Archibald's going to call a timeout from the sideline. That's their first. <laughs> so, he might be going for it here. You normally don't call a timeout before you punt. Well, I'm, I'm betting John wants to get something going. Well, they've only got one first down yep. so far in the game. Had two, three and outs and punted, and maybe he's tired of punting. They do have the wind to their back, and... Uh, 
this, if Indians uh, can stop them here, they'll end up with a ball on excellent field position in Archibald territory with a ball on the Archibald 44 yard line. Well, they're going to line up. Uh, Fiddler's going to line up uh, on the punt formation, but Indians don't have anybody back. back. They're going to play this one safe. So don't anybody jump off sides here. And it goes back to Fiddler. He's going to boot it, and he's going to get a good roll out of this one too. No, takes now an Archibald roll. It. And they're going to pin the Indians back inside the 10 yard line at about the seven or eight. But Indians hold, defense holds, and uh, force Archibald to punt. Well, we'll take the ball. We can go that far. We can go that far, and we can eat up a lot of clock along the way. Just got to take care of the ball. Indians with a seven to nothing lead. We haven't seen much of that this year, the fumbles like that. So it's been a good year for Indians hanging on to the ball. Okay, Huner and Hughes in the backfield. Give goes to Hughes, has some running room. He's going to be cut down, but uh, gets the Indians a little more breathing room. We'll give him uh, six, six yards on the carry, bring up second and four. 10.37 to go here in the first half. Indians lead seven to nothing. And looking pretty good. Roop splits out wide to the left. And give goes to Colin Hughes once again. He's got both arms around the ball. Now we got a late flag coming in. We'll have to wait and see what this is. Indians are pointing at, at the blue streaks. Could be a face mask. Or late hit. Personal foul. Uh, could be a late hit or a little extracurricular activity on, on the pile there. A little frustration setting in already for the Blue Streets. There's the replay. Let's see if we can see what's going on down there. That's a 15 yarder, so that uh, gets the Indians out of out of their end of the field, sets them up in pretty good field position. With a ball on about the 28. Give goes to Mitch Huner up the middle, dragging tacklers with him and uh, gets ahead for, oh, three or four yards on the carry. Well, looks like the Blue Streak defense is starting to pinch down to the inside, trying to shut us off, so. Time to. Headed outside. Headed outside or maybe just a little uh, right, yeah. little toss. They mark they re -mark me. Give Mitch uh, four yards on the carry. We'll call it second and six. Indians doing a nice job of, on first down. And there's around the outside. Hughes, one man to beat. He's going to be uh, brought down in Archibald territory at the 43-yard line of the Blue Streak. So. Nice run by Hughes. Defender tried to punch the ball out right there. So Indians have a first down. They're on the move. Colin may have his 100 already in the, with 9.24 to go in the first half. Brian Price, the tackler for the Blue Streaks. They go up the middle to Mitch Huner, gets ahead again for very positive five. yardage on first down. Four or five on the carry. Four. Give him four on the carry, second and six. So, and he's doing just a great job tonight on first down. Roop brings it in from the sideline. 8.51 to go here in the first half. Indians. Leads seven to nothing on a Colin Hughes touchdown in the first quarter. Hughes, and that's uh, that's going to be one of the first negative yardage plays tonight for Wasion. He's going to lose about a yard on it. No, well, Blue Streak defense, a great penetration, got right in there, busted some seams. So third and seven, ball on the 41-yard line of the Blue Streaks. Euner, the lone setback, he gets the carry. 
And he's going to be tripped up at the line. Britton Riker on the tackle for the Blue Streak. So fourth down and we'll say five for Wasion. Well, we've done well running around the outside tonight. Haven't seen that, that play lose yardage yet. Indians line up in the eye. Schrock under center. And he's back to throw. He's got Huner out there, makes the grab. He's at the 30, knocked out of bounds at the 25. So he big first down conversion nice play. on fourth and five for the Indians. They keep the drive alive. Clock stops with the with a runner going out of bounds at 727. So Indians get a fresh set of downs, move it deep into Archibald territory with the ball on the Archibald 26. It was a nice call. I know we won't see it on the replay. It's probably done, but uh, man, there was an Indian open in the middle too, number 28. That'd be Roop. And we got a reverse Inside to handoff. Jared Marks, still on his feet, driving, driving, driving. Holy cow, he's out near another Indian first down just on second and third effort. <laughs> nice run by the senior. Little razzle dazzle breaks a tackle there and just takes another tackler on head on finally. Finally brought down by Brian Price. Some strong running. Indians came to play tonight. Okay, second and short. Uh, we'll get, say it's second and a long yard. They pound it up the middle to Mitch Huner. Bounces off a tackler and he should be close to the first down. Need to get it down to just short of the 15 yard line. And we have an official timeout for a measurement. Yes, we do. It's either going to be a first down or it's going to be third and very short. He couldn't place it forward like he has been earlier in the game? I'll be kind. <laughs> You just never know who watches these. Boy, it looks like he's got it easy there. Oh, not so easy. He's down. By the nose of the ball. So Indians have it first and 10 ball on the blue streak. 16 yard line. They, Wasion leads seven to nothing. Looking to add more here. And it's so far in this game, it's it's been all Wasion. Well, we we started this drive with a few minutes left in the first, and Hughes puts his head down, charges into the line, gets ahead for a tough couple yards. I tell you, I like the way Hughes plays on on both sides of the ball. He is a hard hitter on defense. He's got a good nose for the ball on defense. Well, these guys learned to run hard, boy, from Dana Demoline last year, and they're carrying it on. They are running hard this year. Give Hughes two on the carry, brings up second and eight. Ball on the blue streak, 13. Derek Schrock, a quarterback, he's gonna hand off to Hughes, has a lane off the left side, and he's gonna be tripped up by Fiddler. Give him four or five on the carry. Running left there between Baum and Miller. Third and three, of course, the Indians are down there in three down territory, four down territory. We, we've yet to, I don't know if we've attempted a, a field goal yet this year, have we? I don't think we have. Direct I hope snap. we don't start now. Direct snap to Hughes. He hurdles over the line of scrimmage, and uh, he's going to be out out there close to the first down. Official standing over the ball, the, just the outside first. the just outside the five, and that isn't going to be enough for the first down. So another nice drive here by the Indians. 
They started uh, this drive. Started I believe on it, our eight yard, eight yard line. Eight yard line. Had so. a little help with a 15 yard personal foul, but that's part of the deal. Indians playing ball control offense. Hughes, the ball carrier, he's close to that goal line, but he's going to be stopped just short. Hughes running with some determination tonight. Authority. Running with authority. And Coach Emmons has authorized him. 4.42 to go here in the first half. Indians with a 7 to nothing lead, looking to add more. Second down and goal from the one. Mitch Huner, the ball carry, hit and dropped. Nothing there. He had nowhere to go. The hole just closed right up. And he might have lost, might have lost half a yard on that one. We'll call it third and goal from the yard, and about a yard and a half to go. Clock's on the move. Going with the bread and butter, or it's got something new? Oh, I, I'd, do, I'd run a pitch to Hughes, I think. Hughes is in yeah. standing up. Just a quick hitter to Hughes, and Archibald wasn't ready for that. I think they were looking for Huner to get it again, for Mitch to pound it in. But uh, Hughes just had a nice hole on that right side. We're going to see it here on the replay. Just, oh, oh my, oh Huner my, what a, a heck block. of a block. Huner just took his man out. That's how you do that. Okay, Stidham to snap, Hughes to hold, and the Simpkins to kick, and the kick is up and cut! Indians lead 14 to nothing. Yeah. Doing the job tonight, just what the doctor ordered, playing tough on defense and uh, marching the ball up the field and eat, eating, eating the, the clock, clock and keeping that ball out of Gene Gehring's hands. Three possessions in this half so far. For, this will be the fourth possession with 3.55 left for the streaks. Need to keep Gehring on the sidelines. He can't hurt you over there. So we got... Uh, Time for Coach Evans to go for the onside? <laughs> you, I doubt it. Hey, we got uh, 18 seniors playing their last game here at Harmon Field. Colin Price, Matt Bowles, Derek Schrock, Ryan Huner, Jordan Weber, Mitch Huner, Jared Marks, Jacob Westmeyer, Andy Emmons, Frank Bum, Nick Amos, Anthony Stidham, Jeremy Rodriguez, Jake Cochran, Alex Emmons, David Brown, Justin Rodriguez, and Elliot Mueller. So thank you for the memories, guys. It's been fun. It's Get been, yourselves been uh, fun to watch, and you guys have really packed the stands this year. Another full house here again tonight here at Harmon Field. Okay, Simpkins going to tee it up. Downey, Fiddler, and Dunning back deep. Indians kicking into the wind. Probably keep this one down low. A low knuckleball kick taken by Fiedler. And he's going to be brought down at about the 34-yard line of the Blue Streaks. Got a nice hop there. And Jared Marks wraps him up. Nice ankle tackle. Okay, I don't think the streaks really came prepared for this this uh, this type of defense by the Indians tonight. It's an entirely different defense than uh, what we ran against uh, Fairview in the first game of the year. And they're playing it well. Okay, Gehring sets a man in motion. He's going to pull it down. Uh, slip the tackle. Slip the tackle. Hughes had him partially wrapped up. But he slips out of that, gets ahead for five on the carry. Well, that was Mitch Huner that slipped off the tackle. 3.22 to go here in the first half. Indians with a 14 to nothing lead. Gene Gehring in the shotgun for the streaks. And 
Flip pass out to Feeler, off his hands. The Indians are going to pick it up just in case it's uh, lateral, but uh, no, it's a forward pass. Ball goes incomplete, so once again, Archibald in a third and long situation. Third and five. Clock stops at 310. Stop them right here, Indians. So third and five, Gehring all alone in the backfield. Has time, lots of no time. rush, looking, looking, good coverage by the Indians. He's gonna throw it deep down there. Oh my, <laughs> I don't know how he got so far behind the Indians defense, but Gehring just had way too much time. Colin Martinez makes the catch. And you just cannot allow no. him to stand back there that much time. That's asking way too much out of your defensive backs to, to cover people that long. He's got the arm and the wind to his back there to get the ball out. He throws out a there. big ball. So that's about a 70 some yard pass play. He's from the 39 yard line. He caught it on what, about the, probably about the 10? 61 yard play. 15. Okay, Downey to do the kicking on the extra point and has plenty of leg on that and Blue Streaks draw within seven. Score now, Wasion 14, Archibald seven with 2.56 to go here in the first half. So quick strike by Archibald and boom, just like that, they're right back in it. They answer that uh, last Indian score after how many plays? Just uh, four plays. Four plays. Gene didn't get flustered back there. No, he had all day to throw. Indians have to find a way to get pressure on him on every down. I don't know how you do that, whether you bring somebody, somebody different on each play, but boy, you gotta have more than just four guys rushing him. Streaks do a great job of, of pass, pass blocking. They just get, get on you and just tie you up. And one of the streaks working on his foot gear. He's getting ready for his onside kick. Now that's a new, if 75's doing the kicking chores, that's a, that's a new kicker for the streaks. And he's gonna boot it conventional style, taking at the five by Hughes. And he's taking it fast and hard up the middle, gets out near the 30. So Indians will have 251 to work with here in the first half. And they'll have it first and 10 from Colossi on 29. Okay, split backfield. Hands off to Ryan Huner, hurdles over a tackler. Sometimes that works for you, jumping over people, but as, as soon as you leave your feet, you're slowing down. You don't accelerate when, when you're down in the air. Putting yourself in a bad position to take a bad hit to lose the ball. But if you get feet back on the ground, might be secondary. Hey, give Hughes, uh, or was that Euner? Euner. Give Euner three yards on the carry, brings up second and seven. Handoff goes to Hughes, cuts it back inside and gets out ahead to the 45 yard line. That's gonna be more than enough for the first down. That'll move the chains. Clock will stop while they move the chains with 2.07 to go here in the first half. Nice hole, we got nice trap in there. Had a guard coming around Emmons. 
Boy, he was close to breaking that one. I tell you, the uh, Blue Streak's defense has been on the field about 90% of this game. And mix up in the backfield, and, and Schrock's just going to have to eat it. Hung on to it, though. So not sure who turned the wrong way there, but uh, somebody wasn't in the right place. Yeah, it looks like uh, Mitch Euner just wasn't in the right spot at the right time for that one. It would be nice to get that seven back. So we got the timeouts, we got the time on the clock. Seven, eight yard loss on the play brings up uh, second and 14. Inside reverse, Marks bounces off his own teammate and he's gonna be hit and dropped. So Archibald might wanna start thinking about calling time out here. And they do with 106 to go here in the first half. Indians working into the wind and they're gonna have a third and 14. The ball on the Wasi on 41. Archibald's loaded with uh, players that came back from last year. They have 19 seniors, or they return uh, 22 letter winners to this team. Lots of experience. L lots of experience. These guys have been playing for the last couple years, so uh, especially on the offensive side of the ball, like that Archibald uh, front line, they've, they've all had, what, probably 18 games under their belt for sure. Yeah, that means a lot. It sure does. Well, last week, Indians got TDs by Mitch Huner and Colin Price, Colin Hughes. I think uh, had a halfback uh, option pass for a touchdown. I suppose we might see that again. Well, we've seen it a couple times this year. Okay, big third down play here for Wasion, look. And we got an official timeout time while we ad adjust things on the uh, scoreboard. Archibald has one timeout left, Indians have two. 109 to go here in the first half. Okay, Price splits out wide to the left. Motion goes to Hughes, he cuts it back inside and gets back near the original line of scrimmage. Archibald will call their last time out, so they'll get the ball back here. Indians will punt when they'll have 103 to work with here. Don't like to give them that much time. Yeah, they don't need much. 103 to work with in the wind of their back here in the first half. Fourth and 11 for Wasion. Ball on the Indians 44 yard line. Well, how about a fake now? Fake punt here. What do you think? Nope. Don't know what kind of a, not for me. Don't know what kind of an arm uh, Simpkins has. but we do know he's got a pretty good leg. Downey and Fiedler. Fiedler back deep, snaps good, kick is up and away, high end over end kick, and the wind just made that one die. It's gonna bounce straight up, and the Indians will down it at the at the 38 yard line of the Blue Streaks. Not where we wanna see it, that's about where it was on their touchdown. Yep, within a yard of where it was, so. Indians got to find a way to keep pressure on Gehring. That's that's really all there is to it. You cannot allow somebody with that good of an arm to just stand back there all day. So Indians going with three down linemen. Gehring in the shotgun. Five wideouts for the streaks. Got to bring Fiddler pressure. goes in motion. And they're going to wind it up and throw it deep. Awesome out, out there, but 
catch was made by Fiedler, but he's out of bounds. He's c complaining he had one foot in. Uh, check that, that's Jack Downey, the receiver. Thought he might have had one foot in. Man, I gotta believe there's a holding in that line somewhere. And here Hold it is on the like replay. That. No. Comes down, first foot came down out of bounds and never had the second one come close. Good call by the, by the officials standing right down there by the sideline. Brings up second and 10. Clock stops with 47 seconds. Here to go in the first half. I think we need to bring somebody. And now we, now we bring Emmons around the end and Fiddler makes the grab out there. He's gonna be hit and dropped in Wasion territory at the 45 yard line. Blue Streaks hustle it up, they're out of timeouts. So they can only stop the clock with a uh, incompletion, a out of bounds play, or a first down. Gehring back to throw, pressure being put on by Brown. He's gonna pull it down and run head, head down to the sidelines and gets ahead for a six or seven on the carry. Indians will let him do that for the next uh, four or five plays. Give him five on the carry. Five or six, we'll say second and four. But uh, down in distance isn't, uh, isn't the issue here. It's the clock, 30.7 seconds to go here in the first half. Indians hanging on to a 14 to seven lead. Gotta bring some pressure. Gehring five yards off the line of scrimmage in the shotgun. Indians with a three-man rush, put a little pressure on, and they hit the back coming out of the backfield. And he's gonna be taken Even down in bounds. Oh, oh no, we got play. a flag on the play. Hassel with a tackle. But he might have had a face mask on that one. Penalty stops the clock with, 220, with 22 seconds to go here in the first half. He had enough for the... Uh, had enough for the first down on the on the reception. And this just a little kind of an inadvertent face mask. He didn't mean it. it but that cost you. Still cost you five yards. Okay, clock is now on the move. They wind it. Back to throws. Gehring has time. He throws a wobbler out there. Knocked down nice in the end D. zone. Bossed on the coverage. Schrock also out there. So kind of an ugly pass by Gehring, a little bit of a wild tail dragger, but Boss gets his hand on it and knocked it away. Colin Martinez, who uh, has a touchdown tonight for the streaks, was the intended receiver. Colton Martinez. Okay, second and 10, 11.6 seconds to go. Gehring once again in the shotgun. Has time, now a little pressure. Oh my, caught. No, out of bounds. But might out be of out of bounds. bounds. No, no we're gonna give it, it to in. him. We're gonna have to check this out on the replay. Looks like he got one foot in. But there's a flag on the play. I think it's gonna be roughing the passer. Yep, he got one foot in. That's all you need in high school. Holding, coming back. Nope. No, it's going to be a personal foul roughing the pass. Oh, that was weak. Uh, yeah, he, one of the Indians, I think it was, might have been Emmons, but uh, hit him a little late. That was weak. So the penalty, likely, uh, that'll be declined. I don't think that's one that can carry over to the, to the kickoff. But uh, that was a that was a little bit of a late hit on the quarterback, blow to the head, Might like a helmet to helmet hit. So that just changes everything in a hurry with 3.4 seconds to go. Blue streaks looking to tie it up here in the first half. And are they going to line her up and go for two here? Or are they going to, or are they thinking tie? Okay, Gary. Okay, they take the 
half the distance to the goal on the extra point from the previous play's penalty. They're going to go for two. Gehring lines up in the shotgun. Three split out wide to the right. One goes in motion. And Gehring's going to tuck it down. He's going to be stopped short. Indians defense holds. They saw that play last year down, down short on the goal line. They like, uh, they like that running play by Gehring. So Indians hang on to a one-point lead here. Archibald will have to kick it off to him with 3.4 seconds left here in the first half. And Gehring is down. He's not getting up. He's getting up. He's not getting up. Uh, he had, had an ankle injury from uh, last week in the Patrick Henry game, and they thought he'd be a little bit gimpy tonight. So if, if he should go down, Streaks would be in big trouble. I don't know who they have to back up. I understand it's Root, number four. David Roop Rupp would be the backup, and Gehring's up walking. He's just a little bit gimpy. We'll see how that affects him the rest of the game. Kyle Stipp to do the kickoff for the Blue Streaks. Five eight, 170 pounds. He sure looks bigger than that. Some babies are bright. Five eleven. Oh, there it is. Five eleven, 273 pounds. Junior, high kick is going to be taken out of bounds, going out of bounds. Uh, Hughes will let it go. Let's see if the Indians want him to re-kick or if they'll take the ball at the 35. I think uh, Coach Emmons says, hey, we're going to make them try and kick it to us. We like our chances of running one back here. That'd be with, great, wouldn't it? With this amount of time on the clock, that's, that's, that's probably a really good call. I'd like to see the Indians with a big return kind of be a little bit uh, payback for that. So they'll back the ball up to the Blue Streak 35, and he'll kick it from there. I'd look for Stip to kind of keep squib it or keep it on the ground here, but no, he's going to kick a high end over end kick. Well, the guy with the speed's got it. Take Let's him by. He finds a place. Take it by Hughes at the 15. And that's going to run the first half out. If you don't take her all the way, when you only got three, four seconds on the clock, you better, you better take her to the house because you're not going to have a chance for first and 10. OK, an exciting first half. Indians got on the board first. And Archibald roars back here just towards the end of the second quarter, but uh, Indians are going to the locker room with a one-point lead, 14 to 13. Dominate the first half. Looked like they pretty well own it. Only a couple big plays. Put the blue streaks yep. close. Yep, you got to play every down. Okay, we'll be back uh, after a short intermission. Okay, we are back. Uh, Mark, have you, can you give us a rundown on the first half scoring? Well, let's see what I can do here, Steve. Uh, Wasian first to draw blood tonight. Uh, at uh, 449 in the third, left in the first, Colin Hughes with a touchdown run. Well, you can, the point after was good, makes, kick was good, made Wasian up 7-0. It was followed by at uh, 3.55 in the second, another Colin Hughes touchdown run. Kick was good. Wasi on 14, nothing. Archibald comes back in four plays and at 2.56 of the second, 
the TD. The kick was good. Making the score, Wasi had 14, Archibald seven. And finally, with 34 seconds left in the half, Archibald scores, goes for the two-point conversion, and doesn't get it. Wasi on 14, Archibald 13 at the half. Okay, Indians defense doing a great job tonight. Uh, Archibald comes in averaging probably around 30, uh, 35 points a game. Uh, against Ayersville, they won, uh, that was their first game this year, they won 27 to 20, then uh, beat Bryan 48 to 27. Uh, against Fairview, uh, that was one of their losses and uh, we did not have the score on that one, but uh, against Evergreen, they ran up 47 points. Against Swanton, cranked it up to 60 points. Against Montpelier, scored 54. Against Delta, uh, scored 49 points. They gave so, up a uh, bunch. But they gave up, yeah, it was a close game with Delta. They beat Delta 49 to 44. Track meet. And Delta had that game by 20 at one time. 21, Poss, I think yep. it was. Well, with. So you know they can score fast. Fast and furious. They don't need much time as we've seen here tonight. Big plays. But I like the way the Indians defense is playing. Uh, they've, they've really held uh, Gehring in check tonight. Well, we were except, for, except for just two, three play, yep. big plays. We were talking during the half and uh, it's probably the best performance we've seen the Indians both sides, well, all the way around. The kicking game's doing fine too. But uh, looking great on both sides of the ball. Hey, right before the half, we weren't in that dreaded prevent defense, were we? No. No, but we went to that three-man rush, and boy, that's tough to get yeah, you to get it. in Gene's face. Yeah, you got to get pressure. Gary on will, will pick you apart if you give him that kind of time. Okay, we got a new guy kicking off, and it's going to be kept on the ground. Taken by Huner up the middle and gets up across the 40 to the, about the 42. So nice field position there for the Indians to start, start their first drive here in the second half. Boy, I'd like to see the Indians break one of those. They came close. Uh, he that was hard and fast up the middle. Well, that was the one I wanted to see him break because I was hoping Archibald doesn't get a chance to kick to us anymore tonight. Okay, sure. uh, direct snap goes to Hughes and breaks through the line, gets ahead for five or six on the carry on first down. Give him six. Brings up second and four. Well, the Indians kind of picking up right where they left off on the offensive side of the ball. Got the ball control offense in gear tonight. And Hughes, again, gets the corner, knocked out of bounds, and takes it into Archibald territory at the, about the 46-yard line. And that'll move the chains. Indians will have it first and 10. Stopped by Price for the blue streaks. I mean, he took the brunt into that. So just a new offensive set here for the Indians tonight. They in line. Hughes up in the shotgun. We haven't seen that yet this year. Reverse goes to Marks and he's out ahead on first down for a nice gain. Give him about seven on the carry. So an imaginative offense uh, stuck in here tonight just for the blue streaks. Moving it around a little bit. Give him six on the carry, second and four. Ball sitting right on the 40 yard line of the Blue Streaks. Bruce, Blue Streaks defense was on the field just about that whole first half. The time, uh, time of possession heavily in favor of the Indians. Okay, this time Schrock under center. They give it to Mitch Huner, the ball carrier, and he's got first down and more. Driving hard. 13 yard. Carry for Mitch Huner moves the chains. So Indians continue just to 
eat up chunks of real estate Just here. Running right up the center off Jeremy Rod or off Rodriguez. Man. I believe that was Jack Downey on the tackle. Motion goes to Hughes, and he gets the ball, and he's going to be tripped up, but another positive uh, yardage play for the Indians. Give him three yards on the carry, second and seven. Ball sitting right on the Blue Streak 25-yard line, right in the middle of the field. You know, what do you tell the guys at halftime? So you're playing a heck of a ball game, just keep doing it. Okay, we'll be all right. Colin Hughes, the ball carrier. <laughs> and he gets ahead for four on the carry, bring up third and we'll say three for the Indians. Keep Indians down in that red zone. Indians with a lead 14 to 13, 9.23 to go in the third. Snap goes direct to Hughes. He pounds it up the middle. Still on his feet. And he, he knew he just, no he just needed about three yards. And uh, he knew where that first down marker was. He didn't give up. Didn't go down on the initial contact. No, no quit. Man, not until he hears that whistle. And we're still waiting on the refs to say whether that's a first down or not. And now they move the chains. They signal first down. Indians have a new set of downs to work with. Ball inside the red zone on, on the Archibald 17. Hughes lines up in the shotgun. Back to throw. He's got Price out there, but he's going to throw it short. Oh, knocked down. Good job by Price to play defender on that play. Uh, Lots. Wasn't well, didn't have much zip on that pass and kind of threw it up for grabs. So He's kind of falling back as he threw it up in the air. Yep, you got to step into those. And he was well covered. Yep, he, he might have picked that one and just gone ahead and run with that. That might have, he might have had some positive yardage there. Price saved the day on that one. He turned into the defender. Okay, Schrock under center this time. Give goes to there he is, has there the he is. corner. Working it inside, and he's struts into the end zone for the Indian score. Just a nice run following his blockers. Nice. Good job by Marks to seal off the corner. Nice little fake inside, back outside, then back to the inside. And yeah. Takes it in. I thought he was going to, I thought he was heading for the pylon all the it, way, but he, and I think the defender did too. It he, sure looked like it. He cuts it back inside. One of the blue streaks coming off the field slowly. Looks like one of the linemen. We'll try and get a number here. And they're holding up the extra point attempt till, uh, till he gets off the field. Now we're ready to go. Hughes to hold. Simpkins to kick. Kick is up and good. Indians lead 21-13. Nice drive by the Indians. Nice drive by the Wasion Indians to start the second half. Started on their own 42 yard line. And with 8.55 to go. Once again, one third down in that series. They add to their lead. I tell you, they're, they're kicking butt on, uh, on first down. Just about everything's working for the Indians offense tonight. Big play of that though was, uh, was Price knocking that ball down in oh, the end yeah. zone. That, that yep. looked to be a sure interception and Price saved the day for the Indians. Got a hand in there and made the difference. That could have been a big turnaround on momentum if the streaks would have brought that in. And if we're heads up enough at the end of this game, we're going to name a Wasion Indian offensive and defensive player of the game. And that play by Price, I might just uh, call that a defensive play. No, that isn't Billy White Cheese Johnson. That's 
Billy Gold beat Johnson. The yellow shoes. That's pretty flashy. I kind of like that myself. Okay, 21-13. Indians add to their lead. We're in the third quarter. And Simpkins has it teed up. The wind at his back. How far is this one going? It's a high end over end kick. Makes it to the end zone and the Blue Streaks aren't going to bring it out. They'll take the touch back and they'll start with it on their own 20 yard line. Well, when you got the wind to your back like, you, like it's blowing tonight, Mark, you want to you wanna pop that ball up and let the wind have its way with it. And he took advantage of it. Now, when you're going into the wind, you're looking more for a, a low line drive type yep. kick. Well, let's see what they need defense can do. They got three down linemen again. Got to bring somebody. Okay, Gary in the shotgun, gets it out there to Fiddler. He's met immediately for a short gain on the play. He likes, uh, he likes Fiddler a lot. That's probably his uh, sixth pass to him tonight. One yard gain on the play, brings up second and nine. And Fiddler's only a junior, 5'9", 176 pound junior. So he's gonna be back to bother us next year. Indians still going with that uh, three down lineman. Got to keep pressure on, on Gehring. Gehring in the shotgun, looking left. Looking left, now he's rolling to the right. Make you pay just that run. Doesn't, he just doesn't have the foot speed. No, that ankle due to that, him. that ankle injury. He's, he's definitely a hobble, hobbled by that. He looks like he, that was the last thing he wanted to do was have to take off. And he's driven out of bounds by Rodriguez. Might have been a little bit of a late hit out after he was out of bounds. No, stop. Okay, never mind. Third and short, we'll say third and two. And Gehring under center. Rare formation for the streaks. And it's a lateral back to Fiddler. Not going and he's anywhere. Gonna lose a yard or two on the on the play, on the lateral pass. Ryan Huner makes a stop, and that's uh brings up a big fourth down now. Well covered Streaks by will, the Indian defense. Streaks will have to punt. And Ryan Huner with a neck tackle. Horse collars him down. Got the speed to cover that. Okay, looks like, we'll see who's the punter. It looks like Fiddler back to punt. Standing at around the, around the 50 is Hughes and, and Huner. Ryan oh. Huner, and that'll back him up five. And the shoes didn't help number 26 for the streaks. He got a big head start on the snap that time. And boy, you just can't miss him with those shoes. That was those bright yellow shoes. Yeah, Coach Downey knows who that is. There's no hiding that. That'll back him up five. That'll make it fourth down and eight for the streaks. Indians should come out of this in excellent field position. Snaps good, kick is up and away. A high, short kick takes an Indians roll and is gonna go out of bounds at about, at about the 35 yard line of the streak. So only, only about a 12 or 13 yard net on the punt. Not what you wanna do, you wanna kick that ball into that wind low, keep it low. Low and try and get it to spiral. You don't want an end over end kick. That's one of the breaks uh, we need to take advantage of now with the wind at our backs. 7.02 to go here in the third Indians with a 21 to 13 lead. Here on the Indians last home game of the season at Harmon Field. Not sure what's taking so long here. Uh, referee talking to Derek Schrock. 
Now we're ready to go. Had some adjustments on the defensive side of the ball for the Blue Streaks trying to stop this Indian offense. Okay, give goes up the middle to Mitch Huner. Gets ahead again for four or five yards on first down. That's been the story of the night. Indians uh, just getting positive yardage on first down. Indians with an eight point lead. Schrock, that quarterback under center. Give goes to Big Ryan Huner. Big a, hole. Huner keeps his feet. And he was driven ahead for another three or four yards by the tackler. So Indians continue to pound the ball. Big and run. Ryan Huner. Does a good job hanging on to the ball there. Streaks trying to strip the ball. They know they just know they can't stop us tonight. So Indians have it first and goal from the blue streak eight yard line. Indians lead 21-13, 6 15 to go here in the third. Martin Price split out wide right. Indians line up in the eye. They give to Hughes and he's hit. Not a lot there. He's hit immediately in the backfield. <laughs> Jeremy Neuenschwander with a tackle for the streaks. No gain on the play still. No gain. Second and goal from the eight. Schrock lines up. Under center, give goes to Hughes, trying to get the corner and not much running room there. Might have got a yard on the carry. Takes it down to the seven. Third and goal from the seven. Well, do the Indians think field goal here maybe? Try to get the ball centered on the field for Simpkins. I don't, I, they're going for the TD. Okay, Indians line up in the eye. Pitch goes to Hughes and they try and You're center right. it on the field. I'm not sure if that's what they're setting up here, but. I don't, uh, I don't think it'll be a problem for Clay to take it from a hash mark. And we're gonna go for it. Looks Pitch. like we're gonna set up for the field goal he try here. Ball centered. Centered on the field. Simpkins sets the tee on the 12. This will be a 22, 23 yard field goal. A Little longer than an extra point. Snap is good. Hold is a little shaky, but uh, Indians get it down. Kick is up and good. Clay good. Simpkins with the three pointer. Nice job of Hughes to uh, get that ball spotted back on the, on the hold block. I mean, this in uh, in the pros they set it right down on the on the field, but in in high school and college you have a have a block to elevate the ball off the turf it makes it a little bit easier, but it's harder on the holder because he's got to he's got to catch the ball and spot that right on that block. So Indians take a 24 to 13 lead now. But a whole lot of game left. 4.17 here to go in the third. Two touchdowns lead right now. Going to take to uh, get to us. We know how and, fast they can score. Yeah, and but Indians aren't done scoring tonight yet either. The, I don't the think Blue so. Streaks just have not been able to stop them. And uh, they've kept Gene Gehring on the sidelines for Probably 80% of the night tonight. Time of possession is heavily in favor of the Indians. Okay, Simpkins tees it up, back deep to receive Fiddler, Downey, and Dunning. And high end over end kick is going to be taken at the two by Dunning. And he breaks it outside. He's got the kicker to beat, and he's going to be brought down by 
by the Indians kicker. Flag on the play. Clay Simpkins with a tackle. I think it's against the blue streaks. And penalty. Coming back, I think. Going to back him up. Flag is at the blue streak 22. So what do we have, a hold or? I believe it was a hold. So big break there for Wasion after a nice return. Archibald uh, shot themselves in the foot earlier in the game with a, a big 15 yarder that gave the Indians a, a first down, kept uh, drive alive. I'm glad you said that because we were thinking you Bill and I were, no, we were thinking it, we just didn't say it. Okay, instead of having the ball out near midfield, they're gonna be starting at their own 12. Wow. Huge penalty there. Okay, Gehrings lined up in the shotgun. Indians going with three man rush and flipped out the sidelines, finally driven out of bounds by Ryan Huner. See if he didn't step out of bounds a little sooner. Yes, he did. So he gets it out to the 20. Eight yard gain on the reception. The replay there, it looked like he was uh, out a little before that. Trips wide to the right. Dual receivers to the left. Gearing in the shotgun, alone in the backfield. They go with a sideline quick hitter, and that's going to be enough for the first down. Give them about four or five on the toss. So Indians will give them that all night, <laughs> that four or five yard sideline pass. They just don't want them breaking anything big. Make the streaks. Got to stop eat, them eat somewhere, some, though. Eat some clock and let them uh, move it down the field in small chunks. Four receivers wide to the right this time. Gehring looking left. Rolls to the left, and he's going to pull it down and going to be driven out of bounds by Brown. Flag. Oh, my. That's a weak flag. I'm, I'm sorry. Brown had a hold of him in bounds and just kind of rode him out of bounds a little bit there, but uh, didn't get much help from the from the sidelines over there. Players didn't get out of the way. Hard to tell from the angle on the replay, but uh, that's going to be a 15-yarder. So they get that 15 yards back that they lost on the kickoff. And they're going to back to midfield. Back near midfield where they had the, had the ball from on the kickoff, but you know, before the penalty was called. Okay, dual wide outs to the left, trips to the right. Gehring alone in the backfield. Indians again, three man rush. And he's gonna throw this one short to Downey. Jack Downey, the intended receiver. Second and 10, balls on the Blue Streak 45. 3.27 to go here in the third. Indians with a 24-13 lead. Trips to the right side, dual receivers to the left. And low, low snap. Fiddler, the ball carrier, he lined up in quarterback position. So. Pulling a play out of the Indians uh, playbook tonight. Emmons getting up a little slow for the Indians. Give him seven on the carry. Third down and three for the streaks. Gehring this time lines up the shotgun. And throws out, has enough for the first down. David Roop, the receiver. For the streaks, that'll be enough to move the chains. Oh, you, Gehring, he, he put some zip on that ball. He gets it out there quick. 
Hasso in defending on the play. Indian pressure. Okay, direct snap. Goes to Fiddler and he's dragged down from behind by Marks for no gain. Little or no gain, we'll give him a yard on the carry. Marks on the stop for the Indians. Him second and nine. Got to bring some pressure, Indians. Like the way the secondary and the linebackers are covering, especially on these short passes. Okay, four re receivers split out to the left, single receiver to the right. <laughs> Gehring, back to throw, back to throw, light pressure and tipped. Oh. Tip by Marks out there. A lot of green. And it looked and all as it would have been. It looked like it was going to be Indians ball, but uh, too hot to handle. A receiver fell down. The intended receiver was was Jacob Fit Jacob Fiddler. Here's one of those third and longs we talked about earlier, Steve. Third and long, and I need just, to shut him down here. Need to come up with a stop. Archibald might be in four down territory here. Ball at the Wauseon 42. Indians bring some pressure this time. Watch him run. And Gehring's gonna pull it down and run. He's gonna be hit by Bost, but uh, not till after they get a first down. Everything opened up on the right side. Wauseon Blitz brought four. Four men. Problem was we had two guys in the same spot. Left it wide open on the, oh, just off the tackle. Okay, that run keeps the drive alive for the Blue Streaks. 144 to go. Here in the third, Indians with a 24 to 13 lead. Three receivers turn wide over, to over. the left, two to the right. Goring looking to his left. And throws behind his intended receiver. Nice that defense was, by Hughes. That was Fiddler once again. But he just threw it just a little bit behind Fiddler. He was open. Second and ten. Clock stops with the incompletion. Archibald working into the wind here. Wind is, is still blowing fairly strong out of the south, southwest. Empty backfield, Gehring in the shotgun. Looking right and overthrows Fiddler. Once again, almost intercepted out there by Ryan Huner. Indians need to get one of those. Gehring just not looking, uh, not looking real, real sharp tonight. He's uh, he's looked pretty he's, good a he's, couple times. A couple times he's he's <laughs> thrown brilliantly, but uh, at other times he's uh, he's been short or uh, behind his intended receivers. We are again third and long, third and ten. Back to throw, he's got time. Brown putting some pressure on, he's oh. gonna hit and drop by Brown. Boy, Brown almost took the ball away from him. Blindsided Gehring, but nice, nice play by David Brown for the Indians. Came off the tackle and, and yep, just fought through that tackle. He didn't, he just didn't tie up with him. He's having a heck of a defensive game. That's what the Indians need to do. They got to get away from getting tied up with these guys on the pass blocking and do some swim moves or some take some evasive action. Just don't tie up with them on the line. Okay, big fourth down, fourth and 15 to go. Gehring throws it, but it's going to be incomplete. Wow. Fiddler, the intended receiver, and the ball went, looked like it went right through his hands. He had his hands on it. I thought he had it. I was disappointed. And he was going to Fiddler all the way. Went right, right, through, through, his, right through the bread basket. Yeah. Hit him in a bad spot. 
He jumped up for the ball, and it looks like he'd have been better served just to stay on his feet and try and catch it with his hands instead of catching it into his midsection. So Streaks turn it over on downs. Direct snap goes to Hughes. Actually, Hughes is lining up in the quarterback position. He gets that for two yards on the carry. Second and eight. 18 seconds here to go in the third, and Indians are just going to let the clock run down and take a 24 to 13 lead into the fourth quarter. Now they'll have it second and eight from their own 36 yard line. They'll be heading the other direction into the wind the rest of the game. So Archibald uh, will be working with a wind of their back here in the fourth quarter. We'll see if that becomes a factor. All kinds of things going through my head. You know, we're going to have to uh, maybe kick a field goal into that win. Oh, <laughs> let's hope not. Let's hope not. We got a good game to call here tonight. This has been one of the best ones so far this year. We've, we've had some good ones. We, yeah, uh, we, have. we had the Napoleon game here that was uh, very close. Didn't come away with a win, but a triple overtime thriller. Liberty Center. Liberty Center was also, that was a 14 to seven game. game. Could have went either way. But uh, this Indians has done a nice job this year. They've, they've brought, uh, brought a lot of people into the stands here. They're an exciting team to watch. And uh, credit, credit Wasion's fans for turning out. Yep. Well, well he, this is a big fourth quarter for the Indians this year. Football's one of the money sports, uh, football and basketball, that, that puts money into the athletic program from, from gate receipts. So uh, this is good for Wasion sports. They hand off to Mitch Huner, and he gets ahead, maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage. Not a whole lot of running room. We'll give him a yard on the carry. Maybe two. Coming up third and six. Streaks hit really haven't been able to stop Wasion much tonight. I believe the Indians have punted once. Once, maybe once. twice. Okay, this time Schrock under center. Motion man is... Hughes, we got a flag on the play. We're probably going to have a block in the back or a hold. That's uh, usually holding territory, and he pointed at the Indians. Hughes had enough for the first down, but this one's probably going to be coming back. Holding is the call against the Indians. I was wondering if they were good making any of those calls tonight because I've seen it on the Archibald side a lot and not seen a flag. Well, a lot of times that will that pass blocking looks like holding. You can grab somebody's jersey, and as long as you got a hold of them on their chest, uh, it's okay. Uh, there's some until they start <laughs> start stretching the jersey. But yeah, if they're hooking them, that's holding. So streaks definitely accept that. Uh, that negates a first down run by Hughes. Brings up third and 15. Indians need to need to get it to the 45 yard line of. Uh, Fumble on the play, and Schrock's just going to fall on it. So Indians will have to punt here into the wind. Not the way we want to start this big fourth quarter. We managed to stop ourselves again. So Indians lost uh, lost one fumble earlier in the game that uh, Archibald turned into points. This time they retain possession, but uh, gonna have to punt it away. Okay, Simpkins back to punt, snap is good. Low line drive, well, kind of a spiral. Fair catch called for and made by Fiddler at the Archibald 40, 45, 46 yard line. So they'll have it first and 10 from there with a little over half the field to go. 10-29 left in the contest. Indians lead 24-13. The 11 point lead. So Archibald is going to have to score twice here. And 
you know, along the way, going to have to hold hold off the Indians from scoring. Okay, Gehring in the shotgun, three-man rush for the Indians, and it's going to be picked off by Ryan Huner. He's at the 50, got a blocker out in front, takes it out of bounds at the Archibald 45-yard line. Here yeah. we see it on the replay. Knew they were going to get one. And it's the old adage, don't throw it late over the middle. And nice, good job of reading that play by Huner. Finally, he's taken out of bounds, hit, actually hit out of bounds. New call. So that's a huge turnover. Oh, boy. And that's, that's, that. that was one of the keys to the game that the Indians needed was to come out in positive on the turnovers. Now you got to make him pay for that. Marks goes, goes in, points. Marks goes in motion. Huner up the middle. Mitch Huner, one man to beat. It's at the 20, 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, and taken down at the 2. Mitch Huner breaks one off. And let's see who did the blocking for him right on that left side. 44 to the three. <laughs> Running between Frank Bum and Alex Emmons. Nice run. So Indians just like that knocking on the door here. They lead 24-13. Schrock under center. Give it to Hughes. Close. He hurdles over the pile, but he's going to stop just short of the goal line. Indians will have it second and goal from inside the one. Well, Indians need to get this one in and pretty much uh, force Blue Streaks to start throwing her up, man. Three scores, three TDs. They're going to need three touchdowns to beat the Indians tonight if we, get, if, this if we get this in. Second and goal from inside the one. You'd think you could sneak it in from this distance. Schrock under center. They're going to give it to he's Hughes, in. and he's in for the score, Colin Hughes. I believe scores his second touchdown of the of the night. 30 to 13. Indians with the lead with 9-13 here to go in the contest. Stidham to snap, Hughes to hold. Simpkins for the extra point kick. Snap is good, hold is good, kick is good. Wow, 31-13, and that's the way you do it. You take the turnover and make it hurt. Yep, you got to do that. This really puts uh, Archibald behind the eight ball now. With 9-13 left, there's a lot of time, but boy, they are going to have to hurry. That's not to say they can't do it, though. Well, they were down against uh, Delta. Down 20, by 21. 21 points. And came back and, and stole ran away that, with it. Stole that one from Delta. 40, 49, 44, but what a back and forth game that was. On the camera tonight, we want to thank our cameraman. Paul McDonald, always doing a great job for us, the replay machine operator, Mike Christman. Thanks, Mike. And always uh, Rich Badarf, our INTV sports director. Want to thank him for all he does, setting up equipment and running tape and getting us uh, starting lineups and everything. He just uh, makes it easy for us, us to handle this. Sure does. If we had to do all that work, I don't know what we'd do. Ball falls off the tee. We have to get here a little earlier. A little? <laughs> You'd be taking the day off and... Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. Joining me down here. Okay, ball blew off the tee. We got her set up again. Indian sidelines are pumped up. Simpkins puts a foot into it. Low line drive. Kick is picked up by Dunning and he's knocked out of bounds at about the 31, 32 yard line. So the streaks will have it 
First and 10 from there. He's got 9.09 to go here in the contest. Indians lead 31-13. Where's the cutoff, man? <laughs> Somebody come pick me up, Carolyn, and the rest of it. So Indians can just about taste this one. Got a new quarterback change for the blue streaks. So Dave Rupp. out. He's Dave Rupp's going to pull it, it down and run with it. And he's out near the first down. Rupp's a big 6'1", 165-pound junior for the blue streaks. Looks like he's got some wheels. He's going to add a different dimension to the blue streak offense. He has enough for the first down on the run. Give him 10 on the carry. So streaks have it. First and 10 with the ball on the 42. Roop, look, he's going to pull it down, run once again, and he gets ahead for about an eight, eight yard gain. So he's getting some yardage, but he's also keeping that clock moving. If you don't get the, get the sticks moved, you don't have time out for the chains to be moved up the field. Clock continues to run, 8.32 to go now. Now Gehring back in at quarterback. Triple receiver split to the left, dual to right. Gehring winds up, hits his receiver out there. He's kept in bounds. No, he got makes the first. He makes it out of bounds. He's got more than enough for the first down. They'll stop the clock while they move the chains. And I'm not sure. Did he make it out of bounds? No. We'll see if they wind the clock here. Must have got out of bounds. Now the clock runs. Gearing in the shotgun. And they go to the receiver on the left side. That's Martinez. Heads up play by the Indian defense there. Martinez with a touchdown grab earlier in the game for the streaks. Give him four yards on the carry. Second and six. Hitch and go coming back inside. Trip, trip receivers right. Dual receivers to the left. And somebody jumped early and uh, didn't see a flag there. Roop, receiver, makes a catch. He's heading down the sideline and he gets it down. Stepped out of bounds at about the four, four or five yard line. Now, saw somebody move before the snap. Oh yeah. And no call. No flags on the play. Streak's not ready to pack it up and go home yet. They'll have it first and goal. Ball on the four yard line. Cuner got a, took a, probably knocked the wind out of him on that stop. Hughes, Hughes, Hughes down on the sideline for the Indians. Just kind of looking like he might have got the wind knocked out of him. Yeah, he might have caught a heel or something. He is a tough player. I tell you, he goes both ways. He's playing full go both ways. I don't know. He's got to be in some some kind of shape. He bounce, bounces up. He's all right. And he's... Kind of favoring that left shoulder. Might have, could have got a stinger. I don't think it'll keep him down long. Okay, first and goal, ball on the four. This time Roop lined up in the shotgun. Look for him to run. Up the middle, what a surprise. And he didn't, he didn't get in. It's gonna be second and goal from inside the one. Elliot Miller on the tackle for the Indians. And Gehring is coming off, limping off the field. This time, 
They're up under center. He's going to sneak it in. No signal yet now. They raise him up. Touchdown, Blue Streaks. It's going to be at 31 to 19. So Archibald looking to the sidelines as a we going for two here with a point differential as you just about have to. They're making wholesale changes. If that's what they're looking well, to do. They're going to line up to kick it. Downey to attempt the extra point kick here, unless it's a fake. Roop to snap, Fiddler to hold, and kick is good. Looked like he hooked it a little bit to the right, but sneaks it inside that right upright. So blue streaks with 6.55 to go here in the contest. Draw within 11, 31 to 20. But they, they've yet really to stop the Indians tonight. Indians right now. Could, could get the ball, drive. could get the ball and just never give it back. So if you're the streaks, what do you think here? You think onside kick here and thinking, well, or do you, you, you want to give up that short of a field to the Indians? Or do you put it in the hands of your defense? John Downey out on the field talking to his kick team here. So, so uh, I'm thinking onside kick here. Our Indians got to put their hands team out there. Yep, I'm betting so too. Because uh, streaks really have not been able to stop the Indians running game tonight. And they could easily get the ball and just eat up the clock. Both teams with three timeouts left. 6.55 to go here in the game. Indians lead 31-20. And Kyle Stipp tees it up. Yep, it's going to be the onside. And streaks overload the their left side. Kick's got to go 10 yards. It does, and Huner, Mitch Huner makes the grab at the 45 yard line. Indians will have it first and 10 from there. So onside kick is un unsuccessful. Indians are set up in excellent field position. Now we need now, the big drive of the year. Now Seat we up the need clock. the drive. Six minutes or more and a score just for good. Indians with 11 point lead, 31 to 20. Mitch Huner, the single setback. Marks goes in motion. Give goes to Huner, and he's hit and dropped at the line. No gain. So Indians going to try and play a little close to the vest here. Ground play keeps the clock moving. 6.28 to go here in the game. This time split backs. Schrock under center. Give goes nice to nice Ryan Huner. He's got. Has a first down and more. Gets it nice out. Run. To the Blue Streaks. 40 takes it into Archibald territory. Big first down there for the Indians. That, that means they should be able to run another couple minutes off the clock here. They'll set the chains and wind up the clock. Nice run. It's like whoever we plug in is, is hitting that hole, getting those yards. Okay, split backs. Huner and Huner. Schrock under center. Give goes to Mitch. And he's hit and dropped right away. Jeremy Neuenschwander with a tackle for the streaks. Give Mitch two yards on the carry, second and eight. Clock on the move, 5.35 to go. Archibald with three timeouts. Indians with three timeouts, but we're not interested in using them. No. 
at the moment. We just want to keep tearing up that field with chunk after chunk. Roop splits out wide to the right. Huner and Huner in the backfield. Schrock's going to hand it off to Ryan Huner. Cuts it back inside. Gets ahead for two, three, maybe four yards on the carry. Bring up third down and four for the Indians. Looks like Huner might have had a little more room to the outside. And he turned her back in. Wasion wanting to stay away from the sidelines. Don't want to run it out of bounds. Nope. Okay, Price is split out wide to the right. Indians not looking to throw here. Third and four. Indians in four down territory. If they don't get a first down here, they'll, they'll go for it again. Now Mark Emmons calls a timeout. Time. Runs the play clock down as much as he can and calls a timeout with 4.27 to go here. Big third down play coming up here for Wasion. Might call two plays here if they don't make it. Maybe hurry go no, up. hurry up, go yep. no huddle, and yep. force Archibald maybe to use one of their timeouts. Yep, might catch them off guard. That'd be a that'd be a smart play. Hey, how about our uh, sponsors? We want to thank those again tonight. Yes, sir. Wasion Machine and Manufacturing. St. Casper's Catholic Church. Perfumes and more. Wood Trucking. Delta Fraternal Order of the Eagles. Wasion American Legion Post 265. Wasion Athletic Boosters. Wasion wow. Homecoming Committee. Trinity Lutheran Church. City of Wasion. Winchester's Restaurant and Saloon. Don's Automotive Group. That's a deal. Lee's Body Shop. Bill's Fort Center. Hallett, Hallett, Nagel Attorneys at Law. The Sterling Mechanical License Limited Contractor, Heating, Air Conditioning, and Plumbing. And Whalen Realty and Auction, Mike Murray. Thank you all so much for your support. Okay, Indians with a 31 to 20 lead and the ball. 4.27 to go here in the fourth. Big third down play coming up, third and four. Schrock under center. Seniors looking good this Final night at Harmon Field for him. Marks goes in motion, cuts it upfield, has the first down. Big first down. Huge first down, at, and then nobody in the stadium thought Marks was going to get the ball right there. They figured it'd be Mitch Huner or, or Ryan Huner getting it. Powered in there. But, but Archibald hadn't stopped anybody on nice, that tonight, though. Nice hole on that right side for Marks to run through. Okay, that moves the chains. Indians have it first and 10 with the ball on the blue streak, 28. Huner and Hughes in the backfield. Schrock taking his time now. The official raises his hand, he's got five seconds. Mitch Huner, the ball carrier. Hit and drop, it might be about time for Archibald to start using their timeouts. Give Mitch two yards on the carry. Bring up second and eight. Oh, long one. We'll say it's second and eight. Schrock keeping his eye on the official. He's just trying to burn as much clock as he as he can. The official put his hand up when there's five seconds left. On the play clock, they give to Colin Hughes, turns his outside, turns it back oh. inside. He's cool. Boy, it looked like he had running room on the outside, but uh, he cuts it back inside. Cut it back in nicely and got a few more yards. Got about uh, four or five yards on the carry. Yeah, he might have been able to get that corner. The two defenders were down. And he's got both hands on the ball. That's what I like to see. Indians don't want to turn over here. And Archibald, they've got to be thinking about tackling the ball. Yep, big third down. 31 to 20, Indians with a lead. 2.38 to go here in the game. Schrock under center, Marks goes in motion and play is timeout, Indian. Whistled dead before it gets underway. Coach Mark Emmons calls a timeout here. With 2.33 to go here in the game. Indians by 11. Like 
Well, doesn't look like it's going to help Archibald with points tonight. Nope, and Indians, uh, should they get the win here, uh, are still alive for a piece of the, the league the title. League. Uh, they'd have to beat PH next week over at PH, but uh, PH is a strong team, but they're just not quite as good as they have been the last few years. Yeah. They're, they're definitely beatable. And we've always played them tough. We, we do. We play like this. Wasion. We play like this. We did tonight. It'll, I Wa think we could get them. Wasion, the last few years, really has, has gave PH all they've wanted. Wouldn't that be something? Be nice for these kids to get a share. I mean, nine, a couple, two, three years ago, we took them into overtime. Okay, Schrock under center, third and three. And Mitch Huner, the ball carrier, he's gonna and get he's going to cut it back and Elliot score, and that's going to that's gonna do it. 37-20, to 21-yard 20, touchdown run by Mitch Huner. And that just caps a nice ball game here for the Indians. 2.26 to go, still time left in this one, but uh, India's well in control of this now. Wonder what the PH scouts are thinking. They gotta be a little nervous. Okay, Stidham with a snap, Hughes to hold. Nice kick. And the kick is up and good! 38 to 20. I like the sound of that. That does sound good. 38-20, Wasion over Archibald with 2.26 to go. It has been all Wasion tonight. Archibald just has not been able to stop the Indians run, running uh, jog or not that they are this year. And other than the two big uh, big plays for the Blue Streaks, it has been all Wasion. It's been Mitch Huner, Ryan Huner, Colin Hughes, Colin Hughes and Marks with a helping hand from uh, Price and and uh, Brown. Yeah, two big defensive plays tonight. Jared Marks, a uh, couple big first down runs for the Indians, or fourth down runs. Well, we just heard Delta beat Liberty. Makes you think, what if? Mm. Well, Indians still with an outside chance of making the playoffs, but uh, it's going oh, to be kind of kind of tough. Team behind us is mathematically eliminated already, so I don't think we'll see it. But you never know what will happen. Hey, Simpkins squibs it, and it's taken by Dunning, and he's. Brought down at around the 30-yard line. Marks with a tackle. 2.22 to go here in the game. Indians with a 38-20 lead. After a touchdown run by Mitch Schooner. 21 yards out. Streaks will have it first and 10 with the ball on their own. 34-yard line. Indian secondary way back. Yeah, they're moving up a yeah, little a bit. Couple, a couple steps back. Four receivers off to the le left side. Gehring's going to be hit and drop. I think that I'll check, check that. That's David Roop. Roop or Rupp? Rupp. I'm not sure which side of the tracks he's from. It's Archibald. It's Rupp. Four-yard loss on the play. Roop in the shotgun. <laughs> and looks over out in the flats and receiver makes a mistake of not getting out of bounds there. He keeps the ball in bounds, turned it back yet to the inside and uh, he's collared immediately. So you gotta, you gotta play the mental aspect of the game too. You need to know down distance and time. 
going to try to run on you. Going to try Rook to is going to be yeah. hit by Emmons. Andy Emmons with the sack. Archibald still has three timeouts left. Uh, Downey uh, not interested in using them. I think he might have seen enough of this Wasion team tonight. I think he's got them starting the bus. I think so. Clock on the move, 45 seconds to go here in the contest. Big, big win for the Indians. Three re receivers wide to the left, and it's going to be, oh, oh I thought it was going to be picked off by Alex, Alex Emmons. But he caught the ball right in the stomach and <laughs> might have knocked the wind out of him. It might have hit him a little lower than the stomach. So the streaks turn it over on downs. Indians just need to take a knee here a couple times, uh, unless uh, Archibald chooses to use some of their timeouts. Ball on the Archibald 28 yard line. 38 to 20. Timeout. Indians, Indians with a lead, and Wasion is using their final timeout. Coach Emmons is going to. It's going to get some seniors into the game here for their last chance at uh, a plan here at Harmon Field. Statue of Liberty play. <laughs> <laughs> tough to run that offense without him in there. They big, bring in big old Justin Rodriguez, 6'1", 341 pounds senior. He's a big old hoss. Yes, indeed. Okay, Indians going to do some celebrating tonight. Yeah, seniors are going out from Harmon Field in a great way. And heading into uh, a big game next week at Patrick Henry with a piece of the league title on the line. Okay, Indians line up in the victory formation, and Schrock takes a knee. John Downey says, I've seen enough of this. I'm going home. No. Nope. Start the bus. <laughs> Big win for the Indians, and they look to be celebrating right now. Why not? They are pumped. They just beat a very, very good Archibald team. Came in tonight, six and two overall, five and one in the league. We put a licking on them. And uh, Indians faithful are storming the field. So the clock ticks down to zero. Our final score is going to be Wasion 38. Archibald Blue Streaks 20. And before I forget, you want to pick a, an offensive player of the game? Oh, boy, make it tough on me, huh? Yeah. Offensive player of the game. I guess I'm going to have to say Colin Hughes. He had a, I hate to take away from anybody else because I, I don't mean him to, but Colin had a great game. Boy, I think in the first half he might have had 100 yards. You could, yeah, you, and like you said, you could give it to the whole Indians backfield. They all did a great job uh, tonight. And the line, I mean, opening up holes, unbelievable. Yeah, they were, they were blowing, uh, blowing the blue streaks off the ball. How about your defensive player? Jeez. Boy, we just uh, really, really played. Uh, whole defense played, uh, good. I, I want to give it to the whole defensive secondary. Um, I got to give it to uh, Ryan Huner on that big interception. That was at a critical point in the game. Yeah. And he did a nice job on coverage all night long. They didn't throw his way that much. Uh, so I'm going to make Ryan Huner yep. my defensive player well, of the game. Well, two, two big defensive plays that stand out for me are the, the – almost interception of Price broke up in the end zone. Um, and that and wasn't on D, that was on offense, yep. but, but yeah, he, my thoughts went in that direction too. That and Brown had a great sack at an opportune time for the Indians. Yeah, Brown's been close a lot this year. Um, they brought him in about halfway through the year, getting the start uh, when Mueller went down with an ankle injury. And uh, 
uh, he, he came in and, and he's got the speed coming around that corner to put some pressure on the quarterback. Oh yeah. So hey, Indians are gonna take home the, I believe this, what is it, the Lions Club uh, trophy? Yep, getting a picture of it right now. And after that, we're gonna line up for some pride push-ups. Well, this is gonna be uh, it for Steve and I for this year with one away game left. As, as usual, it's, it, we've had a ball with it. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed watching the games as much as, we, as we've enjoyed uh, making the calls. Boy, did the season go by fast. Woo. Boy, we've had great weather too. Another oh, we nice sure have. for ball tonight. We sure have. We could take a years like this all the time. Okay, we're gonna sign her off and you can uh, listen to the Indians do some pride push-ups. Hopefully till next year, for Mark Ellenwood, I'm Steve Haas saying we'll see you at the ballpark. Have a good afternoon, everybody.